G'day YouTube, Ryde here, your coffee coach. Today I've got some exciting reviews to do on two products from Digitized Fluids in Shenzhen. These are their R2 Extract and their Microbalance Scales. And both of these actually join up with their app as well, which is still getting developed and increasing in its features. But these are very exciting because this is a refractometer. A refractometer measures light through liquid. So essentially we use this to measure all that coffiness, that yummy stuff that you get in your coffee, to know that you've got a perfectly balanced extraction. Not over extracted, not under extracted. Then the balance scales, the micro balance scales, they actually connect with this to give you some more information all put into your app and stored for later or to be shared down the track. If you haven't got a set of scales, I definitely recommend that you go out and buy some. You should have some precision scales. Getting a recipe right for your coffee is super important. But even if you do have a regular set of scales, the microbalance scales are fantastic. They are up there with the Akaya scales and a lot less expensive. These two come in a pack. I think you can get them for around $300, but I'm excited to take you through this now. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's take a look inside the box. The micro balance is wonderfully designed. It looks gorgeous, as well as being a super valuable piece of equipment. Not only does it measure down to the 0.1 of a gram or the 10th of a gram, but it also measures your time. And one other feature, which I think is very underrated and massively important to a lot of home baristas. I've only seen these features on a few different machines, including the decent espresso machine. It actually measures the flow rate. And the flow rate is the speed of which your coffee comes out because you don't want your coffee to pour out. We're aiming for a ratio of one to two in about 30 seconds, give or take, you know, if you're using pre-infusion. The flow rate should be between 1.5 to maybe three mils per second. And so this gives you accurate real-time data that then connects to your app to show you as a graph that flow rate. So very, very valuable and this is waterproof. I actually reached out to the guys at Shenzhen to ask them if this was gonna be acceptable in my cafe, which they said, yes, under normal circumstances, you can use this very easily in a cafe and it won't get ruined. Obviously you don't wanna be dipping this in water, but general spillages from your machine or from the coffee itself is gonna be fine, it's protected. That is just one part of this pack. The other part, which I think is super exciting because a refractometer is very challenging to get hold of very cheaply. Normally they cost about $1,500, maybe $2,000 to get the commercial VST refractometer. But this little guy, it's very compact, it's waterproof as well, and a fraction of the price. So together this pack was $300, and I think the refractometer was about $200 worth of it. The scales are super cheap if you compare them to the Akaya, which are about double or maybe even more. Inside, you also get a little spoon for spooning it on. However, I really think you should use a eyedropper. They are just a little bit more precise. But, you know, you're welcome to. You get a little microfiber cloth that you can clean the lens on. I've also just added in an extra nice big microfiber cloth because you do want to clean it quite often and you know it just helps to not have a wet cloth all the time. And if you're really keen on taking it abroad or you know traveling around, it comes with a really cute leather carry case that you can just pop it in and store it in there. So really all in all, very nicely packaged. The design is beautiful. I love the packaging design. Just gives me oozes quality. There's a lovely embossed and reflective cover with all of the caffeine molecules uh, on there or zeros and ones. Actually, it's the, I think it could be the formula to calculate the extraction yield, but uh, I'm not sure because I don't know the formula myself. The R2 extract itself is USB charged as is the microbalance scale. I think that's really handy because it 
actually has a little bar on there telling me I'm about halfway through the battery, so I need to start charging it soon. It can measure between zero and 30% TDS, and it also has an accuracy of 0.2%, which is fantastically accurate if that is exactly what it does. It seems like these are really well built. It has three testing modes as well. So it has a once-off standard test that you can do just to measure one coffee if you just happen so inclined to be wanting to know why that coffee tastes so good. It has a continuous mode where you can run multiple shots over it. So this is great for a cafe, so you can get an average of your coffee over multiple different extractions. And then it has a continuous mode, which allows you to put on the hot coffee, and as it cools, it will keep measuring it and it will get the temperature down and then also measure it again. So it will see, you'll see it actually adjust from maybe a high extraction when it's quite hot down to a lower extraction when it cools down. So they're really cool modes and I think that's gonna help a lot of home baristas start to discover why coffee tastes so good. Dye Fluid Technologies is a company based out of Shenzhen, China, and they're fairly new. I think they started in 2020. I'm not 100% sure of everything that goes behind it, but their work seems legit. I've been through their website in great detail. Everything looks like it's built from ground up. There's no short corners being cut here. They really have focused on delivering absolute quality at a fraction of the price. So most times, refractometers are not available for home baristas. And why would you want a refractometer? Well, I come from the artistic side of coffee, so I'm much more about how it tastes, the flavors. I don't have a science background. What I use this for is an additional tool to help me understand why coffee tastes a certain way. Because, you know, to be honest, even the experts around the world would agree that we are still scratching the surface of what we understand about coffee. So a refractometer gives us a measurable way to take the flavors and the taste that we experience and put it into some data so that we can compare against. I would not recommend just going out and blindly using one of these, but if you really want to take your coffee game to the next level, this can be an additional weapon in your arsenal to really give you that exceptional precision because now you can, in words, extraction yield and TDS, which is total dissolved solids, identify why a coffee might taste a certain way. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. A refractometer isn't just for coffee. It measures the light through liquid. So what you wanna do, first you need to calibrate it. That's very important. You need to get some clean water and do a couple of drops on top. This then measures the ambient light of the room that you're in. And you should zero and tear the refractometer every single time. I'm gonna do that now, so it's zeroing. One of the other things I love about this refractometer, it measures the temperature as well. So the ambient temperature is 24.1 degrees Celsius, and you want your temperature of the coffee to be about the same because the cooler the coffee, the more accurate the results. Okay, now the refractometer has zeroed. I can tip that water back into here, give it a little polish, make it dry again. Now I can measure my extraction. So I've extracted it into this cup. You wanna give it a really good stir. That's where this little teaspoon comes in handy. Give it a good stir because I wanna get all of those oils and sugars to be evenly mixed throughout my measurements. Then I wanna transfer that into another jar to cool it further because this is quite hot. So I don't, I don't want to use that. I'll let it cool a little bit longer. Give it another stir. And this is not a coffee you're gonna drink. So this is something that you're, because obviously when coffee gets cooler, it does lose a lot of its flavor, but I'm gonna use this to measure it, and then I can know my settings on my machine or the grinder, how close I am to that perfect sweet spot, and then I can extract my next coffee and know that it's gonna taste really good. So, I've done my, I've allowed it to cool. Now I take my eyedropper. I wanna get, I don't wanna get any of that crema, because the crema will block some light and it might 
make it seem it's really nicely extracted when it's actually in fact under extracted. So I get the eyedropper, put a couple of drops on there, I'm getting rid of any of the bubbles. Now I can press the button and watch it work, it's magic. So it's testing, and you'll see it's actually testing multiple types of lights. It sort of, sort of sits in there and you can see the light underneath going around. That was an 8.83% extraction. So what does that tell me? Well, that's why you have the special app here. You open up your app and you can do this all the way through it. So you actually take your measurements first. So you weigh in the grind of your coffee. So let's say you're doing 18 grams of coffee. You would then connect to your scale add in your amount, your dose that you're starting with, then connect it to your refractometer. And when you're extracting your shot, you wanna be starting this to run the coffee straight onto it so you're measuring the weight in real time. It will measure that flow rate as well. And then you have your output and your input, that's already in here. So you have your dose and then your yield. You can also set your expected yield. Let's say we're working with a one to two ratio, so 18 grams in, 36 grams out. Then you put that in here. You can even put in your timer and your grind size. But once you've got all of that information in there, when you, when you use your refractometer, that 8.83% will give you a reading and tell you, did you hit your sweet spot? Now, you might not be able to see here because it's a bit hard to do it under these conditions and to film a screen on my phone, but you can see I just fell short of where that sweet spot square is. And the sweet spot is literally that. It's sweet coffee. So all of those sugars you've extracted, all of those lovely oils, all of the tannins, everything inside that coffee that makes it delicious is aiming to fall right within that little square. And that's how you know that when you taste your coffee, right, that's what a perfectly extracted coffee tastes like. Now I wanna clean the eyedropper, just get all of the coffee out there because I might need to do another extraction because I think I can push this a little bit further. It is still gonna taste all right. It's not gonna taste great to me right now. It's slightly under extracted. When it cools down, you're gonna get more of those undesirable flavors. However, I know that I can push a little bit more out of that. So how do I do that? Maybe I adjust the grind a little bit finer and slow down that flow rate. Maybe I try to push a little bit more out of the coffee. So getting a one to 2.3 or a one to 2.17, something you know as precise as that might just give me right inside that sweet spot. But then I can test it again, try it, see if that tastes better, and then I know, okay, for this particular coffee, and today I'm using my Il Caramello beans, for this particular coffee, what is the best recipe that I can get those juicy flavors out of? What I've done is I've increased the dose, made it a bit finer, and I'm trying to push all of those lovely oils out. My desired weight was a little bit higher, so I was hoping for a bit better, but we'll test it, and we'll see if it's um, a better extraction than the last one. So I'm gonna pop it on here. Now, just made it into the very corner. You can see there, it's even with my extraction rate being a little bit higher, just got into there. So now it's still a bit hot, it's 26 degrees. So I could wait a little bit longer to cool it. But well, that's a much better extraction. And that's how I know when Il Caramello is under extracted, because it does taste that you know, that tartness of an underripe apricot. 
this, although it has a very, very subtle one, Il Caramello is not always going to be drunk straight black. You're gonna have some milk in there a lot of the time. And the milk will take out a bit of that acidity and just mute it a bit so it will cut through nicely and bring all those caramels. There's a very big, bold caramel flavor coming through. And that is delicious. Like as an espresso, that's exactly where I want Il Caramello to sit. Normally I would just go solely on flavor, but having the refractometer there now gives me a chance to experiment a little bit, to go outside the boundaries of what is the norm or the regular sort of espresso recipes. Because I extracted 50 grams of coffee out of there when I was aiming for 48, so I got another two grams out of that and it still tastes perfect. So there's something to give you an idea of why this pack, this combo pack, can be really useful to you. And if you want that great shot there, I wanna remember that for the next time. I can pop that in, I can save it, I can take a photo of my extraction, I take a photo of the coffee itself, and I can share that with the world. At the moment, there's no community, but I know that the community is in the works, so there are gonna be people out there posting videos and photos, extraction data, all from different coffees around the world and we can start to compile all this. This is something that Decent does already very well. They have a fantastic community, but I think Dye Fluid with these two combo packs is gonna make something really special for the barista community around the world. So would I recommend getting this pack for any home barista who wants to take their coffee to the next level? Absolutely. It's such a cheap investment into securing some measurable data that can relate back to what you experience in real life. So I'm Ride, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.